Hello everyone, Mephone and Son of Beast here, along with the commentators, as the NBA playoffs continues on 2K Sports. Now it's time for the conference semifinals in a second round of Eastern and Western Conference. It's next after this. <laughs> Hey folks, thanks for joining us for the second game as we're about to be heading back to the Eastern Conference game. This time, the Bucks are facing against the Celtics here at the TD Garden Arena here in Boston. So far, the Bucks have already scored two of them here over each uh, one of them of each games and won two of them from the series of the Milwaukee Bucks in Milwaukee. Now, they are playing at Boston to do for the next matchup. And this time, we are about to bring the City Edition to see if the Celtics can try to make the answer. It could be a little bit intense with their work on their skills, but we are not sure what will happen here. And joining with me here on the sideline of the commentators, me, a son of beast, OJ, and a new contestant to bring here to be on live is Clover. Clover, welcome to the game here of Game Three for Boston Celtics, Celtics and Boston and Bucks of Milwaukee. How do you think so far, and what will the game will be? Well, thank you very much. Right now, I really appreciate that everyone's been enjoying so far. And of course, I always call it from them. Yeah, indeed, though, no. in between my, uh, my originating as a guest, in between my, um, moment of time, who do you think will have the most points here, if there's a chance here, for the, uh, players to get back into rehydration? I think there's one of the top three players that might go for the best. I've never seen it so far. Maybe in between the greatest of uh, the players of all time. I know. Well, uh, we're going to see who is going to be the next one to get right back, get back in the uh, for this game of Game 3. You think you're ready for this one? I think I'm ready. <laughs> well, let's break things on here at TD, TD Garden Arena. And right now, on with the presentation of the Eastern Conference Semifinals of the NBA Playoffs. And a tall, this one of the downtown to Boston. This game is about to heat things up. Welcome to another game here as we are here live here at TD Garden Arena. So far, we're looking for a win here for tonight at the Celtics. And for me, Clover, and OJ, we also have is David Aldridge. GA, take it away. Thank you, Kevin. Marcus Smart stands six foot three, but he said, I can guard bigs, so I started making a joke. I'm a stretch six. Forget a stretch five. My teammates loved it, and it just stuck with me. He added, I'm the youngest of four boys, so I've been up against bigger guys. For me, that means nothing. Kevin? <laughs> Well, that's uh, a lot of our strokes, you know, uh, to take, but thank you anyway, David. I think the favorite of Marcus Smart can be one of my favorites here, too. In between, uh, one of the players that can go for a moment. In between feelings. The starting lineups are here on the board as the key match of Giannis Antetokounmpo and Al Horford. Along with the other two, we have is Robert Williams and Brooke Lopez. This will be the jump ball that will be starting things in. Wesley Matthews and Jalen Brown. And then, for on Kupo, it will be Tatum and Chris Middleton. Bringing things up here to get a start. And on the point guarding position, we have Drew Holiday and Marcus Smart. And we're all fueled up and we're ready to go in game three. Marcus Smart, here comes Tatum. What a jam! Jason Tatum delivers the dunk. What a start showing on the pressure. What a show! <laughs> Jason Tatum was really like a bad family. And I'm definitely telling you, because if Jason Tatum was definitely going to get there in time, they got a lot of fan favorites. After the first bucket here for the Bucks, here's Jason Tatum, only making his score. He wants to get things up here and start the run in Game 3. Robert Williams up to Smart, back to Tatum. Tatum inside. And he's reached and foul called on Giannis on the Kupo, his first personal first team foul. The reach up is not going to be in time because of Giannis on the Kupo was going to be putting too much pressure here to keep an eye on the rim. If you pull up a reach, well, that's going to be a foul. 
Tatum back inside. The two-pointer goes in for Tatum. And he's got his second bucket. After the win here versus against Milwaukee, the real game, the Milwaukee Bucks have left the playoffs. And right now, it's a goodbye. Yeah, it's a goodbye already because now they are no longer playing with us. And with that streak, it's all over for the Bucks. What a disappointing effort. And I think somebody is going to have to like try to win the finals here and do it again. Well, we really would love to see them, but I don't know who's going to be. Do you have any thoughts? No, oh, I can't tell. Because of all the other teams, they could be going for luck. In between my choice, I can't go with anything. It might be thinking about what I've done the most. The rebound on Williams. Smart. Around Holiday gives up nothing in front, and it's Holiday with the bucket. Smart of the drive here as his first bucket of the night. Drew Holiday watching on Smart. He already has his first bucket, but he's now picking up the pressure. Their defense is not that stronger, but they have. And with that layup here in the drive, this one's on a You can call that one. Yeah, Kubo really knows that one. He got a great heavy stack up. Williams right back to Tatum. Tatum back to Smart. Smart will back to Williams. Five to shoot. Tatum back outside. Smart for three. Three putter. Good. Outside the range. They now lead up by five. What a secondary of this lineup here. This one is going to be a special player to start things up here for the third game of the night. You always feel that Marcus Smart is always the best to strong making in history. Robert Williams back in front. Now we like to let's reset things up here. Go back to Smart. And back to Williams. Rolling back over is Warford. Two minutes to go in the first period of the first half. Tatum inside, driving, and he's fouled. Wesley Matthews picked up his first personal second team foul on Milwaukee. They are under two minutes with the play here in the first period. The drive is always a perfect. I'm thinking that Jason Tatum can go for another one. I haven't seen um, any other players going for a big out drive, but I think he can definitely do that one for more than he had. Tatum hits the first free throw. Moment of that point in, in between the uh, zone out uh, spots for Clover as she has got a great agreement. It looks like Jason Tatum might be uh, heading her way down and wants to stick things up. But I don't know if the NBA contracts are going to let him uh, let him stay or go with a different team because there's other players that want to give him a higher ability. After new changes are being lifted in, as Pat Connaughton, Bobby Portis Jr., Jordan Noora. And, and Jared Allen. And Holiday slammed the dunk, and he goes in. Now Holiday has already like been pressured up here. They're going for a narrow one. On the ever group now is Pritchard, Derek White, Daniel Feist, and of course right now, Grant Williams. Grant Williams can be uh, can start these things off with the pressure. One thing you need to talk about that one is Grant Williams had a great chance. And Daniel fights. What a move here! He made a great drive. The drive in. <laughs> you bet on that one, R.J. Connaughton on Portis Jr. Fights on him. Up with the two and lays it up inside. This one catches down by five. The Celtics sleep by five. Bridget goes right to White. White on Allen. He moves back to Tatum. Now Pritchard taking a three, and it's rebounded by Allen. As another miss comes up for Boston. The Boston team is just keeping an eye on a pride here. Maybe there might be some uh, higher overrating players. They might be going for somebody else to give it a try. So foul is kicked up on Derek White, number nine, as there'll be a first team foul to deliver up on Boston. Those two uh, head coach got him a great status in between. Without Brad Stevens, there might be a hard take up here for the new head coach to bring them up here in the Eastern Conference to head to the finals.
He knocks down the first free throw. They have some uh, a lot of um, players that got um, great status here since they already won last year. But I think this year can be very tricky for them to make the setup even more bigger. And with that one, Phoenix Suns also went a goodbye here too. So it looks like that does change the fact here in the second round. So it looks like we got an in-between set of matchups here from the two rep depths of range of Mavericks and the Warriors. What do you guys think uh, who will be? Who are you betting on? <laughs> I don't know if I'm betting on anything. <laughs> if I would have watched one, I could just make a prediction. I can go for Warriors. And you for OJ? Uh, I, I'm, I'm going to agree with that one. It's, uh, it's the agreement for Clover. That will be the Golden State Warriors. Yeah, I'm going to go with that one here too. All three guys made a prediction here. But we're not sure what will happen to Dallas Mavericks if there's a choice. I don't know what uh, will Mipo will say, but uh, he may not have no severe. Derek White buys Peter and it tips off short. That ends the first quarter, 15 to 10. Celtics lead by five, and we'll catch a quick break when we come back. I've been saying it for a long time. You know, we have much more depth than I think people realize. You know, I honestly think through the roster one to 15, you have guys that. You know, would be rotation players on any other team. The moment we realize about uh, Pat Connaughton is about this Bucks depth. He has a, a lot of uh, courtesy of his skills in, in the making of that one. He has more chance that he wants to like get things up here on the run and wanted to give up a great uh, bigger in between in, in, be in between the zone. He might be going for that one, but I'm not sure if Pat Connaughton will try to deliver it off here at the big moment time. Wow, Pritchard got a great three-pointer out there. Biggest there. Biggest fan. Allen on Pritchard. Screen on Bobby Portis Jr. Tips it off. Gives up nothing in front here as Bobby Portis Jr. takes a slam. The breakdown in the Celtics could have a lot of trouble here. In my time, I can definitely try to think about it even more. Even by, by my screen, it may be very tough if we could try to like face things up here for regular season. That might be a great idea for the opinions and in between, but we are unsure what season will it be. And a rebound takes up here for Bobby Portis Jr. Now Allen has Milwaukee trail by six. Connaughton on white, backing over Zabaka. Ibaka, back pass, a defeat off, and Allen takes a right up drive. They're down by four. Now the first timeout is called by Boston Celtics with 3.45 to go in the first half. The NBA playoffs of 2K Sports uh, is brought to you by Puma Basketball. Here for Puma for everything that we all give you. Tissit, the official watch of the NBA. And by Adidas, impossible is nothing. We have already seen for this one of the real game here. Since back in the last couple games here, most of all the time, the Bucks have a lot of strength here that gives them up nothing in front. And I know that the Bucks are really that good because um, they got some higher players out there including the bestest one here to play here is Deontay DiVincenzo. Um, but now he's no there longer with us anymore because now he's with the other team. I don't know which team is he in. Well, he's got a lot of choice up in there on the board. You tell me, more than that, to have more feelings I can definitely try to like pick him up. Maybe it might be a little bit harder than I can tell him. Deontay DiVincenzo, him and all the players, not a person anymore. Horford on Okachikupo. Smart. White for three. At first three for White carries off target. Now Allen will dish it back up the other way. Spin move around Horford. He wants to reset things back on here from the corner of the box. And yeah, they need some a lot of change out there because the Bucks have some a lot of hard time and they gotta go for something quick. Middleton over Brown. That one gets off target and a solid D performed on Jalen Brown. Jalen Brown, <laughs> top one to go for. What an excellent D. 
Brown, back to Smart. Back to Derek White. Inside, Smart, drive in front, and that's a two-point lead off score at the top six. And it's White with the assist. Now, Ibaka, back to Ana de Cupo. Now he goes over to Pat Connaughton. Back to Middleton on Brown. Screen incoming. And Double takes off the feed. Middleton. Find out a good ball. Dunk again. He did the same thing just like John Morant did. But it was a different courtesy that has great things on. The board in between. Watch out. Because I had a good ball. was was very, very tall. Not to go wrong with that one here. Because I had a good ball. Had it all counted about it. And he wants to give it off here with a layup here to, <laughs> start to silence the crowd. Boy, it's in the three and triple. They're back up aboard. And a three-pointer carries up for his first bucket in game three tonight. On a good ball. Lost the ball. It's smart. And a fast break will not be picked up. Now White back in on the other way. Connor to back feed to smart. Back to Brown. Back and in, and Smart back outside. Three for Brown. Good in the triple. That delivers up a three streak. They're up by ten. Smart, what a great speed off here. They got a great number in the general. The timeout has been called here by Milwaukee with a minute and 22 to go. They got a great higher average on this one. And for Celtics, it looks like they can go to the uh, Eastern Conference Finals to face on against the winning team in between the Sixers and the Heat. More pressure than I would have felt. It could be a very difficult uh, run on the uh, advantage on the board. I spectacled stuff out there. Oh my goodness. Now the Celtics and the Bucks are making some new changes here as Brooke Lopez is checked in. And Wesley Matthew is also checked in as well. Now Holiday's outside. He's covered up by Derek White. Holiday. Matthews for three. He shot the three-pointer. That carries back in there. They try to hit him back in the ball game. The ball game now ever superior. It can be very uh, difficult to try to find a way. They're all open out and all in. Smart, finding back overs, Brown, under a minute left. Brown, faded, scoop, drive! What a show for Jalen Brown to pick up. He has five points in game three. Deliver up with a big moment out there. Jalen Brown can definitely do what he wants. Now I had a couple on Williams. The beat in the paint! He slammed at the dunk and wants to take it easy on the crowd to be so excited in the first half of this game. Yeah, I don't know what's the point, but uh, this was all that happened. They wanted it's just him. even quieter, even more. White over to Williams. Over Lopez. Half faces off here to pick up by nine. And it's Williams with a first bucket in the first half. Milwaukee trail by nine. On a Kubo, on Smart. Free for Middleton. Open feed, and this one is going out of nowhere here for the Boston Celtics to find a man. Yeah, and because of what happens here, nobody is picking things up here. They might need to pressure it up here to go even more. Robert up, and he's fouled by Alan Kubo. His second personal, and another team foul raises up here for Milwaukee. First team foul. The fate of a pickup play, but Robert Williams, he's had a great ever, higher average of the speed of his own ability. He now has his own. He can take it just easy, and he has more. First free throw for Williams is good. The new changeups here for the Milwaukee Bucks and the Celtics are checked in as Nawara and Bobby Portis is checked in for Anacumpo and Middleton. New changeup for Celtics as four players are checked out 
as Brown moves over to the shooting guard as Tatum, Feist, and Pritchard are checked in. And he only missed one, so that will be one out of two for Robert Williams. And we approach halftime. It's 31-24. A kill-off moment can be anything any high. That's a great moment to make the speed even come true. And a chance now to check you on the sideline, DA. For Jason Tatum, you have been rolling early. How did you get in that rhythm? Uh, just staying aggressive. Uh, just going to say you're getting the jam and uh, see something going in. It was good to see him go in early. It was good to have us have a good start. Uh, hopefully we keep it up. Yeah, it was flowing great in that first half, Jay. Thanks very much. Back to you guys. All right, DA. Thank you for uh, for your time. Second half will begin after this break. What a show performance run. A tough battle in between those two of the green teams. Of course, with Clover here, too. <laughs> Matters. Now let's have a recap look for the in between of Celtics and Bucks. First half statistics comes in for a wish of luck is luck. That is it for right now. It's time to head you back to TD Garden Arena to start the second half of the third quarter. And we welcome you back here at the Boston Arena as this one goes to be 31-24. All goes out to Marcus Smart. The luck is luck. The better of him for Marcus Smart, the better play he had, he's smart. He knows what he can definitely do here for offense, but that's his only time if he can tell. Let's see what his team can do here for the second half of the game. Brown. What's up below? Jalen Brown goes sky high. He says, all about here I come. I like that drive. I love that Jalen Brown was going to lift it up here for the better performance run. Middle for 10 for 3. Gives him up in front. Now this one goes back to be down here by 4. It's close enough to make the decision here, but there might be more to find them way. Brown finds a screen here for Al Warford. Give up here by Al Warford. Gives it back to Smart. Six to shoot on a shot clock. Got a lot of great D in the box. Tatum inside. Two pointer feed good for Tatum. He has eight points and it's Smart with the assist. Next week, feed after I knew it was Smart. And I know that Jason Tatum was going to get there just in time. And oh boy, the foul was being picked up on Robert Williams. His first personal first team foul on Boston. And Ida Kupo will have to go to free for a line shooting too. Oh boy, that ooh, that was very, very bad. He could have been badly injured here if he was out here in the game. But not for good self. You're not you're not gonna like make it in time because all of a sudden this was all the impact that it had been pulled up here for Ida Kupo to try to be all slammed down. Don't be worried. The looks like the ice was always that tall. Just hang on me. Buck, fearing a deer. First free throw for Ina Kubo is good. New changes are coming in as Williams will be checking in for another Williams of Robert. I'm telling you right now, it looks like there is a, there's a this initial, initial last name in between except for their first names. The first name was Grant and their first name was Robert. And both guys do have their last names. It was well, both of Williams. I don't know if it was his brother in between Grant or Robert, but I don't think it wasn't a chance 
if it was in between the options of the choice. And Ryan Okumbo hits the second free throw. This comes down in 35-29. Here's Smart. Backing over is Grant Williams. Outside is Brown. Brown on Wesley Matthews. This is back over to Smart. Trying to back things up again. Five to shoot. Brown for three. Good with the triple. And it's Brown. Ten points. They're going all over the place. Brown, what a show. The show is on its way. Ada Kumpo on Brown. The bag of fence. Oh boy, another dog is slammed in. They're down by seven. This all does turn out to be Ada Kumpo slamming in. The paint giving him too much speed here to give him up the run. Brown, bad pass, and it's Holiday with the steal. Holiday with the fast break. Inside now, Tatum could have got a block, but they're down by again by five. No oh one. I'm very scared because the luck is going to be awful and tired on me. Don't have to feel about your words about them. You can just have fun with us. And that's all we have known here so far. Tatum loses the ball and it goes turnover again. Last touch that turns out to be Al Horford and 29 points here so far. Jason Tatum delivering 26.4. It's a new record here for the 2021-22 season. You feel like that was all he had? <laughs> More pressure than he does. Because of that, he delivered a big time on him. Thanks to the whole team, he now knows that Jason Tatum is the war crew and player of the theme. Williams back over to uh, Tatum. Tatum trying to wish his way around. Tatum. Two around on a Kupo, he's fouled. Third personal loses off to on a Kupo and another team foul in Milwaukee. Oh boy, the contact was going to be too much here for on a Kupo to slow him down. That pressure was going to get delivered off the feet. And with that drive, was going to be a tough one to get right in here. But he now knows that he's going to hit the free throws here for tonight. He might be showing him by, and he wants to give things up and start their run. First free throw for Tatum is good. Tatum really got a great pressure here. He got a lot of hard time. I agree. New changes are coming in for the Bucks as Honda Kupo's checked out. Portis Jr., Nawara, Connington, and Allen are checked in. All four players are checked out, and all four players are checked back in. White, Williams, Spice, and of course now Pritchard. And Tatum hits two free throws. That gives them 10 points here for Jason Tatum in the game three. Two, two minutes left here in the third quarter. Allen for three. Nobody around him. And he is all by himself. They're down by two. Oh boy. Not a tricky one to make him call, but this is all it turned out to be just what they did before. Tatum around Connaughton. The drive, thinking it through. It's Tatum with 12 points. They're adding it up by four. All pressure for once. He's like the only one favorite. They all love Tatum. Now Drew Holiday. Connaughton for three. Nobody up front on Connaughton and it's an assist by Drew Holiday. They're going all over the place. Yeah, I don't know what to tell you about one because that was the biggest uh, outstanding moment out there for the Bucks. It looks like the Celtics are slowing down. The screen on Williams. Tatum up two. The two-pointer, no problem there. He's perfect all over the range for two-pointers. Now Holiday. He moves back to Portis Jr. Off to Holiday. Holiday inside. Two-pointer up. That goes in there. They're back down by two. I mean, down by one. Williams up again. That's a great shoot corner shot, and he has his first bucket. Well done for Greg Williams. Now he has his own bucket here. Different the challenge. Holiday with nobody around. That goes in, and the timeout will be called by the Boston Celtics for 35.2 seconds. 
you're going to have to like pick up another offense to try to keep him alive. Your pressure is no line. Some big new changes here for the Celtics. As for Feist, is checked in. And Nuora comes out as right now Ibaka's checked in. And with White, he now will be putting it back in here as Feist moves over to the point forward. Williams into the center, back in for Grant. Finds Robert, and a bad pass deflected. Holiday and Connaughton all by himself. On the outside, White for three, Allen for three, in the lead! This one is now a two-point lead for Milwaukee. And this one is going to be a bad timing to pick up their chance. Not a great chance at all. They need some help. And three-pointer won't carry out for the Celtics lead. That ends the third quarter. It's now a switch-off run. My boy, my nervous. I don't know what to tell you, but it's all coming down the wire. We'll be right back with the fourth quarter when we come back for approaching our break. The chance now to present the State Farm Assist of the game. I'm definitely saying that there is a much player that gives him a need and a fee. With all the alley-oop, the successful was bringing up to Wesley Matthews for the uh, Milwaukee alley-oop success run. Now he knows he wants to do things again. I bet that was not Matthews going to have a chance to do it again. I don't know how many alley-oops he had, and he only had some assists and brings up a terrific feed. Allen outside. Back inside now. Ball deflected away. Pritchard with the move. Back to White. Three for Tatum. Rebound. And back in a bad passing angle. And it's Connaughton with the rebound. This all gives up the big front. Holiday on Tatum. Now he watches the Portis Jr. Inside the three. And deliver up for Holiday. It's the assist. And it goes back up by four. Now there's no good in a chance on that one. They're going to be a nervous run. And Robert Williams comes back to save the day. They're down by two. I'm very nervous about that one. Robert Williams got a great feed off. The angle inside the paint. Now this will be a three second call on Daniel Feist. This one will be happening here with the defensive for a three second violation. A tremendous mobile one block by Robert Williams. All with the fee, he is like a living on dream. In the edge of the prey, he can be going for the first one to stick it off. And for Feist, he will have to be uh, stand back here as Allen will have one technical free throw. And Allen hits the free throw. Now the new changes are being occurred as Ana Kumpo, Middleton, and Brooke Lopez are checked in for Connaughton, Ibaka, and Portis Jr. And for upper three players as Daniel Feist is checked out. Along with the ever team of Marcus Smart checking in for Pritchard. Allen outside. The three pointer gets him to go. They're all over the place for Allen. It looks like they're going to need some help here for the offense. They're going to have to go back with the man to man. Bad pass, and this one goes back to Allen. Brown on him. Middleton in front. Out inside the paint. Feed. Rebounded by Brown. Woofer goes back that way to Brown. Back to Williams. Horford for three. In and out. That goes out with a no chance here. Oh boy, that was a very tough one. Inbounding of this one for Al Horford can be no longer be found. Allen, a number three. Good! And it's another extension lead here for the Milwaukee Bucks. They're looking for a chance to extend their lead tonight. All that happens here. This one's no good chance. Brown for three. In and out. No carry out in front. Now we're down to three minutes. Middleton. 78. Alley of success. 
This one is going to be a tough run inbound. Oh boy, I get that one. This one's a scare. I think the luck could be a no good at all. This one was a very tough one. Indeed, you're right. Holiday back to Allen. And he's fouled by Tatum. Jason Tatum had a bad time in releasing. And he would have got a chance to make the steal. But the foul was given. And now Matthews are checked in for Allen as he's checked out. Tremendous, tremendous here for the game in Game 3, but it looks like they might need some help here to try to smack it down. On a group of one, Hoford. Hoford. Trying to step in. The dunk is in! On a group is up, and a dunk kicks up. Timeout on Boston with 2.30 remaining. Wow, he's stomping on energy. He wants to quiet those two guys to try to smack their run. And a recent with the stars of this one, of New Balance player of the game of Game 3, Drew Holiday. Drew Holiday does. He was a mm, tough, a tremendous play here in offense. Looks like that he's definitely a better player. He has his luck. Better than ever the defensive player of the game. I'm betting that it was going to be a very good one here for Drew Holiday for him tonight. And all that happens here for the first couple games, he really did have all of his chance, and now he was ready for everything. Crow making the three-pointer, and they're back up by ten. Oh boy, I, I definitely don't know about that one, but uh, let's give him a chance to give him a go for. Holiday on on the combo. Over Horford, and a two-point connects for Hart and K. Kupo, and they're up by 12. Brown, backing over is Robert Williams. They're under two minutes left here. Horford, the three, carried up too wide. He wasn't ready for it just that point, but it was too much to go for. The two, great D on Jalen Brown. Wow, what a chance here. This was the toughest run in for tonight. Now they're going to close things out here. They can come back here in the fourth quarter. Holiday on Smart. Try to block the pass. On to Kumpo on Orford. And still taken by Smart. Here's the two-on-one fast break. Smart back to outside. Orford. Smart. For three, rebounded as off and wide. Last minute left here for the fourth quarter. Oh boy, that's a, all the players are getting tired already here. They're trying to like stop the pressure. The ball was too much in his hands. There was too much to give things up here and try to work their way out of bounds. And stepped out of bounds is Holiday. And it turns over to be Milwaukee to Celtics. The new changes are coming in for the box and for the Celtics as all five players are checked out and all five players are checked in. Now Pritchard will have to try things up here as Nesmith is checked in. Now for Stokas. Stokas right back to Pritchard. Pritchard for three and it's rebounded by Nuora. And now this one will have to read down the clock due of Nuora and Ibaka, slam it down. Now the team is getting the entire pace of that far. All teams are they're moving out of here. Yeah, I'm so sad right now. Luck was all they had. Just like me. I was always eliminated. And definitely you never know. It's okay. And a three-pointer comes in by. Now they're going to have to reach it up here with the foul as Hauser will get his first second team foul on the Celtics. Personal foul. Second team foul. And this foul goes up for Hauser as he will have to slow things down. And now this will be a two on one. One on two shots coming for the first shot here. That will be taking him for tonight in game three. It will be up for Carter.
Hits the first free throw. The next one will be the winner here for the Bucks if they can try to stop and buy. And he hits both. Now Pritchard. Deliver off the Hauser. Three. The second time will be off. And that will end game three of the Bucks win 3 0 in the series. What a toughest wait. This was all that happened because of this one was a tough relation in between. Yeah, I was so surprised, Google. I guess they're going to have to be back here. I'll be returning here in game four. We'll be all happening here tonight. And to kick things off here, we now send you to David Aldrich for the Jordan of New Balance player of the game. David, take it away. Thanks very much, Giannis. Huge, big win tonight. How did you do it? I think we just had fun. Uh, I think our guys were running to their spots and we were able to drive the lanes and then made the right pass and we were knocked down shots. The ball was moving. We were defending. We were having a So that's why we got to win. So you need to patent that formula, I guess. Congrats on the win, man. Thanks. Back to you. David. All right, David, thank you very much. And for along with our crew of Sun Beast, OJ, and Clover, thank you so much for joining here for Game 3. Well, we will have to uh, back here in Game 4 to give it a try. Want to give that one a shot? Yeah, sure. Why not? I'm not going to be surprised. I'll be happy to hear. Yeah, give that one a roll. That's a uh, great, tremendous year for the game. And now to close things off here will be the three star players of the game. Starting off with number three, will be you, Clover. Thank you for your time, thank you. Number three, we're gonna give this off to the player that gives him up the most, Jason Tatum. 14 points, one assist, and just one dunk. He made a great speed. I think game four will be a lot much better if you can try to hang on. Hang on. And now we'll be kick off to OJ for number two. Number two, this all happens to be Grayson Allen. He has fifth cup, 15 points. Three rebounds, two assists, and only happened here with another 19 performance run. He's not a negative, he's response and positive on the note. The positive note gives up a great feed. He's a tremendous player. After with the Grizzlies, now he's ready for the Bucks. And now for you, Son of Beast, for number one. Number one, this all definitely did to be a, one of the bestest player of the best, Giannis Anacumbo. 18 points, one assist, and no blocks was given here in Game 3. Well, I guess he only got seven dunks here before. And with the tremendous alley-oop, he did it out all his timing. The effort pays it off. And that is it for me and OJ, along with Culver. This has been a presentation of the NBA Playoffs. Tune in with us next time to rematch from here, as we will have another one to be bringing back here to revenge in Game 4. Will the Celtics take a 3-1 of the game? Or will the Bucks take a shout-out and take down the Boston Celtics for the number two seed of this game? Well, you may never know what will happen here. It will be all happening here once more to kick things off here for the next game. So that's it for me. Peace out, everyone, for a while as the NBA playoffs of NBA 2K22 dial. Have a good night here in Boston, and we will see you guys later here for the Stanley Cup playoffs here for the next one, as we will have a double header here for tonight for the next game. Now let's swing it off here to NHL. Thank you for joining us at NBA, and have a wonderful evening. Get home safe, guys. Didn't you know? Somebody.